Hi guys, so welcome to my makeup tutorial slash get ready with me video. Here I'm going to be showing you guys a typical look that I would wear on a simple night out to a party or to an event. And yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so before I start off, I would like to share that this video is actually in partnership with Pinky Paradise. Pinky Paradise is a contact lens online shop that sells contact lenses, accessories, K-beauty, and a lot of colored contacts and circle lenses for cosplay or just simple beauty looks and they were so kind to actually send me two pairs of contacts and these two pair of contacts are actually contacts that I have been using for a long time I received one in almond brown and the other one in gray so the first one I received is the one that I'm wearing in the video and this one is the Geo Princess Mimi Sesame Gray Circle Lenses from the Bambi series and this is yearly and it's $23.90 USD and these are so comfy guys like I shit you not this is just so amazing the color is so vibrant and as you can see here like they accentuate my eyes so well and yeah, so this is the main circle lenses that I'll be using for this video. However, I also received this in brown and it's the Geo Princess Mimi Almond Brown from the Bambi series. It's also yearly, it's the same price and it feels the exact same on my eyes. Both of them are perfect and I just love how it feels on my eyes. They don't dry them out too much and they just look really natural and great on my eyes. I can insert a clip of it here right now, but yeah, so that's enough about the contact lenses. Let's jump right into the video. Okay, so to start off here is my skin all prepped. I have cleansed, I have exfoliated, and my skin is ready to be ambushed. So basically, first I'd like to typically start off fresh. So today I'm going to be using the One Step Moisture Up Pad from Costa Rex. And this is a really nice pad because it's just so hydrating and it absorbs all the moisture into my skin and I love it so much so I'm just gonna take one pad and basically apply it all over my face just to add some moisture back into it after it becomes dry from exfoliating of course and cleansing okay so next I'm going to be going in with the light fit real water toner to cream from Costa Rex and this base is basically a cream that you can pump out and apply to your skin but once you apply it directly to your skin it's like a moisturizer and it disintegrates into your skin and it's just so amazing I am completely in love with it because it provides so much moisture and creates a clear complexion on my skin okay so next I'm going to be going in with the Claire's freshly juiced vitamin drop and it's pure vitamin C so I like to add this serum to my skin just to hydrate it just a bit more because I do have very dry skin especially after I cleanse my face so I just like to deeply hydrate my skin with any serums I have and this is one of my favorite serums ever it's just so nice and it moisturizes perfectly and I feel like it really clears up my complexion and makes the redness like less noticeable so this is the drunk elephant proteiny polypeptide cream I'm just gonna go in and basically apply this moisturizer to my face and make sure it keeps my skin completely hydrated for the entire night so next, I'm going to be going in with a primer. This is the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Vinifera Replenishing Oil. So it is an oil, however, it can be doubled up as a primer. So I used it with another primer, which I'll be talking about afterwards. But yeah, I'll just typically put around three drops and then I'll put that on my skin just to make sure that it locks down my moisturizer and then I'd move on to the cream primer. So the cream primer that I use here is the Ole on Rixen Banana Bright Face Primer and it has a lot of vi vitamin C and banana powder inspired pigments. So I just do like one pump and I apply that all over my face so that it sets a base for me to use when I put in foundation. And it's a really good primer. I've been loving it so much. This entire skincare routine has been able to keep my makeup on all day for like around 12 hours and it keeps my skin hydrated it doesn't clump or have any breakage and this is why i do all these steps and it's just so worth it 
So here I'm going to be going in with foundation and I use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup foundation and this foundation was actually recommended to me by my friend Jessica Ko and it's honestly been my holy grail for the past like three years I love this so much it has such high coverage it covers everything and it doesn't dry up my skin completely especially because of my skincare routine so I always go to this I have been using the same bottle for like forever and I still haven't run out so it's really great I highly recommend it so I'm just gonna apply that all over my face with a dampened beauty blender and yeah next I'm going to go in with an eyeshadow primer I'm going to be using the Too Faced shadow insurance anti-crease eyeshadow primer and this is another holy grail of mine it's just so amazing I just need a little bit to put onto my eyelids and it'll hold the pigmentation of my eyeshadow so well and keep my eyeliner on all day so I highly recommend it if you guys are looking for an eyeshadow primer okay so for eyeshadow I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills modern renaissance palette and I'm just going to be using the brush that is provided within the palette here and to set a base I'm going to go in with the color tempura and I'm just gonna set it all over my eyelids just kind of to like prep it more and add like a white base for it to set onto my eyelids and help the other colors stand out more when I add them on afterwards. Okay, now that we've done that, I'm going to go in with the color Red Ochre and I'm just going to apply it to the outer corner of my eyelids. Honestly guys, I'm no professional makeup artist and I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, so please go easy on me. I just basically apply it to the outer corners and I blend it out as much as I can so that it looks not too crazy and yeah. Okay, so the next color I'm going to be going in with is the burnt orange color right here and I'm going to take this color and apply it to the outer thirds of my eyes and kind of blend it in with the red ochre color from earlier and kind of create like a gradient look with these two colors and make sure that it blends well into my crease. Okay, so now that I have my base down, I'm going to go back in with the color Primavera and I'm going to apply that onto basically the middle portion of my eyelids just to brighten up the inner corners and the middle portion and basically apply it on top of what I have so far and have something for the inner creases of my eyes and basically blend that all out until it's somewhat doable basically. So here I'm just taking a thinner brush and I'm going to take that burnt orange color and apply it to the bottom corners of my eyes just from the waterline and out a bit to connect it with my outer eye just to kind of widen my eyes a bit and hopefully give some dimension and depth to my eyes because I have hella small eyes as you guys can see. So now I'm going to go in with an even thinner and smaller fine tip brush and I'm going to be taking the color Vermeer right here and applying it to the inner corners of my eyes just to brighten them up a bit and, and add some more dimension. Now this product is another holy grail of mine. I have been using it for at least five years and this is the eyeliner portion of what I'm going to be doing and I'm going to be going in with the Kat Von D tattoo liner in black and basically just line my eyes as I usually do. I just simply do like a simple cat eye as much as I can but my eyes are pretty uneven especially my eyelids so it's a bit hard sometimes to do especially since I'm blind. However, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So in this specific case, I wasn't too particular about my eyeliner and eyeshadow only because I'm going to be going in with falsies. So here I have my Marils false eyelashes and these come in three pairs and these are pretty thick. The band is pretty thick as well so it's pretty heavy on the lids so if you're not like used to putting on falsies I don't recommend it um, so yeah I've already used these before so they're already trimmed down so I'm just going to basically apply glue and apply these eyelashes on so that I look more glam
so now I'm going to be going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color medium brown and I'm just gonna basically fill in my eyebrows as best as I can honestly guys I really suck at doing eyebrows I have no proper shape my eyebrows are a mess but I tried my best here and I basically just fill them in as much as I can kind of shape them to my liking and then I use a fine tipped brush and I go in with my foundation because I don't really use concealer and I basically just clean that up and make sure it becomes sharp and nice and make sure that no hairs are like you know loose and all that and make sure I blend it all in nicely and to the point where my brows are on fleek basically so So now for bronzer slash contour, I go in with this e.l.f. contour palette and it has this like dark brown shade in the palette with four other colors. I mainly only use this dark brown shade and I just go in and basically contour the my cheeks and wherever I feel like it needs more dimension and yeah. For highlight, I'm going to be going in with this Fenty Beauty highlight stick and it's in like this mauve color and it's really nice. Um, I don't really use highlighting sticks, however I did receive this as a gift from my cousin and it's very useful actually and it just slides onto my skin so well and I just need to blend it out with my fingers afterwards and it just makes a perfect highlighter for my skin. All right, on to the lips. So here I'm going in with my Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm Primer thing. And I basically just moisturize my lips because they are hella dry, especially during the winter. And then for lips, I'm just going to be going in with a simple satin lipstick from MAC. And this is in the color, I believe, Mocha. And I honestly don't even wear lipstick that much, but this is like one of my favorite colors to wear. I don't know why. It's just so like neutral and nude and I just I'm just so in love with it it's not too colorful and I I just I just love it guys like highly recommend if you guys like this color so yeah <music> lastly to set this all I'm going to go in with a setting spray because well my skin is hella dry so I don't really use powder to set my makeup but I use this setting mist and it's from morphe it's the continuous setting mist and it's so great honestly guys like it sets my makeup for the entire day so I'm just gonna spray it all over my face until I basically drown in it and there you guys have it so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to like comment and subscribe and if you guys have any co uh, comments or questions about these contacts or whatever products I use, just leave them in the comment section below. I will try to get to them as much as possible. And yeah, um, so enjoy me now just jamming out to K-pop throwback songs because I was in a mood. No nege micho, micho. I got you under my skin. ギルワナプニアオンリーワンシャットオンリーワンシャットワンシャットエイカチマンバババババパパババババパパ
fiction, fiction. Again and again and again and again. 너에게 준 보소가 왜 그러지 몰라. A A A. This is a night.